Here's my share of the rent we owe to Kelly. I'll let you pay her the full amount. Yeah, when I get it. What's going on? You, uh, what? <laughs> Somebody we know die? No, I hope so. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. It's a new facet of your brilliant brother's life. Theodore, I've taken to reading obituaries. Or, as I used to sneer when I caught my less fortunate colleagues doing it, I've taken to ambulance chasing, widow chasing, to be more accurate. You see, Ted, the uh, deceased need lawyers to handle their estate. That's one good thing about being in Santa Barbara society. I can recognize the good ones. Oh, good grief, Mason. Oh, Ted, Ted, don't look so shocked. It's just business. There's nothing wrong with making a little profit on someone else's death. Look at undertakers. No, no, the only death that disappointed me was Channing's. I thought surely with him gone, that I would uh, inherit the crown, that my problems would be over. But J here I am. Mason, Mason, just get off it. Get off what, Ted? Channing, man. <laughs> no matter what the subject is, you always change it back to Channing. Oh, do I? I didn't realize. Well, just forget about him, all right? It's just going to ruin your life. I see. You believe that I uh, made up the specter of Channing as an excuse for my own failures, don't you? No. No, I think Dad's hard on you. But I do think you bring a lot of it on yourself. Dad cast me as the villain of this piece a long time ago, Ted. Nothing I can ever say or do can change that. And he cast Channing as the hero. And nothing Channing ever said or did changed that. Well, now, what's that supposed to mean? Well, you're a big boy now. I think you're old enough to grapple with the reality of what kind of person your brother really was. 